Ferguson police officer Darren Wilson resigned Saturday, five days after clashes with police, looting, and arson erupted following a grand jury's decision not to indict Wilson for the shooting of teenager Michael Brown last summer. Officer Wilson's attorney appeared on Fox News Sunday. He decided to resign, Chris, because we got an information yesterday directly from uh, the chief in Ferguson that they had some information that suggested there were going to be uh, acts taken against either members of the department or the department itself uh, related to his continued employment. And when Darrell was told that, he simply said, that's enough. In his resignation letter, Wilson said he could not allow his employment to put residents and police officers of Ferguson at risk. Residents expressed mixed reactions to Wilson's resignation. At this point, everybody's gonna be upset anyway. Everybody's gonna feel the way they feel. I'm upset, I have a 16-year-old son. It could have been him. I feel that uh, he was absolutely in the wrong. Well, it's unfortunate he would have to resign, but I think it would be a very difficult situation for him to perform as an officer the way he was uh, previously in a, in a town like this where people know him and identify with him. Protesters continuing their demonstrations against Brown's shooting faced off with National Guard troops stationed outside Ferguson Police Headquarters on Saturday. Two people were arrested after the announcement of Wilson's resignation. Protesters carried their message to holiday shoppers, parading through shopping malls around Ferguson on Black Friday and throughout the weekend. Similar Black Friday demonstrations unfolded elsewhere, with protest groups following suit in Portland, Oregon, Chicago, and New York City.